In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I manage to read one book a week. This is a strategy that I personally use and hopefully you can use this strategy. Before I get into the video, I just want to add that the average millionaire reads 4 hours every single day and the average CEO reads 52 books a year. These figures I'm giving you are from statistics. So if you want to be a millionaire, you want to be a CEO tomorrow and you are not matching that 52 books a year, then you are reducing your chances of getting there even without your knowledge. I can't say that I read 52 books every single year, I miss some weeks, but this strategy I'm going to share in this video is a strategy that has helped me stay close to 40 books a year at least. So I work full time, both day and at night, so I rarely find the time to read books. Of course, aside academic material. So what I do is that I listen to audiobooks. If you have cash to spare, then of course there are so many apps that allow you to access audiobooks at an affordable cost and then you can go ahead and listen to them. But if you are looking for something 100% free, then be sure to watch this video all the way to the end. So the first thing I do is I identify the book that I want to read and after that I head over to youtube.com and then I type the name of the book. For instance, let's say I want to read Deep Work by Kaan Report. So I'll just search it Deep Work audiobook and then you click it it is going to bring um search results of the book this is the book deep work rules for focused success so this is the book seven hours long this is also the book seven hours long this one is just the book summary usually i watch a video on the book summary before reading the book just so that i can have a general understanding of what the book is about and, and then reading the book allows me to squeeze out all the possible details so if you just right click it you can go ahead and copy the link copy link address and then you go to a new tab and search YouTube Downloader. So it's going to bring out a couple of YouTube downloaders for you. You can use any of them. You can use this safe from net, whitehairs.com, any of them. So let us go ahead and use this one. So once you click it, you can paste your YouTube link here and then you go ahead and convert. So it's going to um, convert um, the video for you. Here you choose the format you want the video in. You can have it in 720, 480, 360, 240 and also in MP3 format. It doesn't really matter because I'm still going to use shortcuts to work on this audio and I'm going to tell you what I mean in just a second. So it's going to pop out a download button. Now if you click this button, it's going to go ahead and download this book for you. This is it downloading at the bottom of the screen but I do not want to download it because I already have the book and I've already read it so there's no point so I'm going to cancel this download. This is the book on my desktop. Look at it here, Deep Work Audiobook. So after you have downloaded the audiobook, you open Shortcut. Shortcut is a free video editing software which I use to edit my videos um, but it is super easy to use. Anybody can use it and of course like I said it is free. So just go over to their website, download shortcut. I'm going to show you exactly what I do with the audios here. So you name a project, you call it Deep Work. Deep Work by Carl Newport. And then you click start. Now the next thing you can do is to bring the video into this place. So if I minimize this, this Deep Work audio book, I'm going to drag it into shortcut. Deep Work, rules for focused success in a distracted world. Written. So this is the audio book. This one you are seeing here is the one I've already worked on but what you just need to do is to take this right now and drop it on the timeline. Just carry it and drop it here. It's going to take just a second there. So the book is now in the timeline. Now come over here to properties and increase the speed. Normally I listen to my books at speed 1.5. That is the speed that I listen to my books at speed 1.5 so the book is seven hours long like you saw but at speed 1.5 i'll be able to listen to the book in let's say five hours or something less so if i listen to the book two hours every day i should finish the book in three hours so if you have two hours of commute every day or one hour of commute every day while you are commuting just listening to the audiobook in five days monday to friday you finish one book over the weekend you download and double and then you repeat the process. So after you have done that, the only other thing you can do now is to click this export button. You just click export. Once you have clicked export, come over here and search for audio. Then you click MP3. This allows the video to be exported as MP3 and not MP4. If you come over here to video and you export it as maybe YouTube, for instance, it's going to export a video, but you want to listen it in your music player. So that's why you come over to audio and you pick MP3. Once you click MP3, you're going to come here and click export file. 
and here you select where you want the audio to be exported to here you name it whatever you want to name it and then you just click save once you click save it's going to show you a bar here this bar is going to tell you how far your video has been rendered so it's going to move from 0% to 10%, 20, 50, and once it gets to 100%, your audio is 100% rendered. So as you can see, it is still rendering. Once this is your audio book, you can now pick this and move it to your phone and then listen to it in your audio library. Or if you're someone that uses a speaker in the house, maybe when you're cleaning the house over the weekend, you can be listening to the audio book. And this gets pretty addictive. After doing it for a while, you get to fall in love with books. And before you know what's happening, you are reading books and books and books and books you are learning your mind is expanding and you are improving your life i would love to have one or two book recommendations from one or two people and i also leave one or two recommendations for you guys if you guys would like me to do that i released a video before this one the top five books i feel everybody should read these are super important books if you hope to make money in the future if you hope to end up a millionaire that video is going to be linked in the eye above right now and in the description box of this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.